What's up everybody? I'm on the way to pick up a 6x14 double axle trailer that I plan to flip for a profit. I was on Facebook Marketplace this morning, which I get on at least once a day looking for deals. I'm always looking for a deal. And I saw the trailer. It looked to be in good condition and he was asking $1,000 for it. So I asked him if it was available. He said yes, yeah, sent me his number. Sometimes it's easier just to talk on the phone rather than to message. What I gathered from the conversation was that he's moving out of state and is just trying to get rid of the trailer. So I offered to come look at it and that is where I'm on the way to right now. I think there's plenty of room for profit on this deal. Um, who knows, I might get it a little lower than asking price. I'm always asking for a better deal because the worst thing to say is no. So either way, I think I'll make some money. Let's go ahead and pick this thing up, see what I can do with it. Hey, how you, good, how you doing? This is low-key kind of creepy. I'll keep you guys posted. How did you know that 800 was my rock bottom price? I, when I listed it, I said, I've got a list it for 1000 I'll take 800 <laughs> Can I see your body? Yeah. <laughs> Before we hook it up. Before you haul it away. I don't blame you. There it all is. Rolling out with a trailer. Taught him down to 800 cash. You know me. And uh, I'm on the way home right now. When I get there, I'll break down and show you guys the trailer. This is the trailer, guys. It's the big text, like I said, a 6x14. Come with two tires. That one's good. This one is bad. But not a bad pickup. From the post on Facebook, the boards look way better than what they actually are. So I haven't decided yet. I got to do some thinking on how much I want to put into this thing for how much I can actually sell it for. So since I don't know exactly what I want to do to this thing, I'm going to sleep on it tonight, think through it, really get a plan together, and then worry about this thing tomorrow. Alrighty guys, after crunching some numbers last night and a really good night's sleep, I've decided what I'm going to do with this thing and hopefully I get it all done today so we can list this thing, get it sold, and make some profit. First thing I'm about to do is get rid of these side rails. Um, I was going to replace all the boards, but new board is going to be about $400. And with the work and the money put into that, I don't think I'll get a return like I want on that. The boards really aren't that bad. If it was my trailer, I would let them ride a little longer. So I think I can get away with that. So what I'm going to do is after I pressure wash this thing, I'm going to paint the metal black and then go get some deck paint, uh, super heavy duty paint. To go on these boards and it'll make it look better and also make them last just a little bit longer and hopefully help me get it sold but before i do any of that the first thing i have to do is get these railings off i'm sure they served a purpose at one time but at this point they are in really bad condition and really just need to go Believe it or not, that is about $10 worth of hardware. That will come in handy one day, so that'll go in stock. And that also made getting the boards off really easy. Just put the socket on my drill, unscrewed them, knocked them off, made it super easy. And now it's time to pressure wash this bad boy. So I'm making a slight adjustment of the plan of the day. I'm not pressure washing now because I gotta go get a part for my pressure washer wand. And I'm gonna go ahead and run all my errands while I'm out. And one of those errands is getting this tire off and the reason I'm doing that is just so they match more aesthetically pleasing and I got some redneck ingenuity here I backed the trailer up on to this 4x4 and then I jacked the trailer up and voila it spins freely so I don't have to go get my jack out to jack this thing up and also something that's going to make this easier is a Dewalt tool that I've been wanting to use so let's get this tire off Was that going on a trailer? Yeah. So that thing's gonna come apart on you. So now? I wouldn't put it on there. See all them dry right? You, you get going down the road that thing is hot, <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna just especially get especially get on the interstate and get get up to speed. So that right there will beat the fender and everything off the trailer when it comes apart. That wouldn't be good. What about there. this one? That one's pretty bad too, ain't it? I don't like the tread on that. Well, I don't like the tread on that one, but that one ain't dry right like this one. This one here's gonna come apart. 
Well, do you have a, a used tire that could probably go on this one? That's a, that's a 15, right? I yeah. think there's... Two or five, seven, five, six, do you have a new one? I can get a new one. How much for that? It's probably going to be right around somewhere around 90 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm good with that one. I might just leave it like that and then... If you didn't understand what he was saying, the tire that I was gonna put on the white rim was actually worse than the one that's on the white rim. So he said there's plenty of tread on it for now. So I'm gonna stick with that because a new one was gonna run $95 and he didn't have any used ones that would work. So now I'm on the way to Lowe's to pick up some deck paint for the boards. Would these y'all add color? Okay, to whatever color we want. Yeah, oh, right here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Are you doing all right? Yeah, how are you? Can you make this in a dark brown for me? Uh, yeah, I'll see what colors we have. It doesn't have to be. It's going on a uh, on a trailer, so it don't have to be perfect. Okay. Got that guy making that and a big four-inch brush to brush it on. sit here and sunbathe for an hour or two let it dry before I put any paint on it I think it's dry enough and this thing did not paint itself so I'm gonna go ahead and get a coat of black rust-oleum on the metal So I've got that first coat of paint on and that's probably all I'm going to do. That right there makes a huge difference in the way the trailer looks. I'm going to get up in the wheel wells. It's kind of rusty right in there. And what I really like to do, the best practice, is when painting, pull all the boards up and paint everything. But since I wasn't replacing the boards, wasn't going to do that, which is totally fine. I found some rust oleum paint, spray paint laying around. It's actually made for high heat like grills and stuff. But since it's laying around, I want to spray that in there and then coat it again just since it's so bad. Uh, just for an extra layer of protection. Not that I'm trying to hide any rust spots or anything like that. This trailer is actually structurally sound. The axles are in really good condition. Just things rust when the they're not taken care of. And the paint comes off steel rust really, really fast. So just because it has rust doesn't mean it's bad or anything. It just doesn't look good and looks way better with paint. I just want to clarify that I wasn't trying to get over on anyone. Just getting it ready to sell. Paint is done. Trailer is looking good. I've done about all that I'm going to do to this thing. It's time to get some pictures of this thing 
and get it listed so we can sell it. Just listed on Facebook Marketplace. Now just time to sit and wait. I'm on the way to the meetup spot where I meet most people when I don't feel comfortable with them coming to the house. And usually when I do trailers, I always meet them up here. So I'm on the way there now. I had a lot of interest last night in the trailer. A bunch of low ballers, which I understand, but this trailer's not for them. I like this guy because he asked a little less than what I was asking for. It was a fair price and he was most responsive and he's really close to where we're meeting. So it just made the most sense. So I'm on the way there now. Hopefully it goes smooth and I get my cash. What's going on? What's up, man? You doing all right? Yeah, Cody. Dean. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So this is her. It is. I think it'll do exactly what you need it to do. People want 12, 1300 for a single axle, 12 yeah. footer. And you know how much a brand new five by eight is a tractor supply? I'm gonna go with $1,200. Uh, I was gonna go with 800. 800 if you want the metal bottom. Uh, but if you want the wood? Yeah, which this wood. I was like, gonna, the that's, wood, that, that wood is fine. it has life in it. I was going to replace it to sell it, but it's $400 right now. Really? Now, that's because wood prices are up. Yeah. Cool deal, right, man. man. I appreciate nice it. Nice to meet you. You too. Hope it does what you need oh, it to do. Well, Have a good one. Guys, I'm pumped. Let me, let me show you this cash real quick. Sort it for $1,500 which was $50 under asking price. I asked $15.50 just because I know or knew someone was gonna ask for lower. So got $1,500 for it, put less than nine in it. So that's over $600 in profit in less than 48 hours. I hope watching me flip that trailer and make that profit will encourage you to get out there and make some money. If I could flip a trailer like that once a week, I'd be doing pretty good. But realistically, I probably couldn't do that because a lot of times people want too much for the stuff that they have, especially trailers. So what made that deal so good is the price which I bought it at, which really makes any deal good. If you can get something for the right price, you're more likely to be able to sell it and make more profit. However, there are all those people that want too much for their stuff, but there's also a lot of people putting stuff on the side of the road for free which is what I've been doing lately is if I ride by and see something, I pick it up. A lot of times people put an ad out on Facebook or Craigslist. Hey, I got a table, a chair, a couch. You can make money off that stuff. For instance, this chair that I'm sitting in, AK Racing, had no idea what that was before I saw it on the side of the road. And I stopped, got out my truck, looked at it, and it was broken. Some of the metal had broken on it and I thought I could fix it, so I threw it in the back of the truck. I got it home, took it apart, grinded it down, had someone weld it for me, and these things brand new go for three to $400. So used, I could probably sell it for 150, 200, but it's so comfortable and it was free for me that I'm gonna keep it because I do spend a lot of time at the desk, on the computer, doing paperwork and editing videos. In other words, you don't have to look very far to make a dollar or two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching and you're not subscribed and you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button. Give me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Remember, to get the J-O-B, D-O-N-E. This is Dean, and I'm done.